Hi everyone, so in this video, we'll discuss something called a white noise process. So a white noise process is, um, in simple terms, it's generally any process or any series with no discernible structure. Uh, so a lot of the concepts here will stem a lot from the assumptions we made earlier on stationarity. So as I said, a white noise process is a series with no discernible structure. And uh, like our assumption on weak stationarity, it has a couple of properties. Firstly, constant mean. Okay, so constant mean holds. So we also assume that the expected value of y sub t is equal to mu. That is, the mean of the series doesn't change at any time period. So the mean of the series on period 1 is the same as period 2, is the same as period 3, and so on. Second, uh, it also has constant variance. So as we said earlier, the square differences from the mean, yt minus mu, yt minus mu, or that's just variance of yt, this is equal to sigma squared, uh, is also constant. So uh, like with our weak stationarity assumption, we also assume constant variance. So what differs from our stationarity assumption and this white noise process that we're uh, dealing with here? Well, it comes to the third assumption. And the third assumption under a white noise process is this, that the autocovariance at, at time t minus s can take two possible values, okay? It's equal to sigma squared if t is equal to s and zero if otherwise. Okay. Now, it differs from our earlier assumptions, but we need to, that, to understand that assumption to try and get this one. So if we recall, okay, if we recall, okay, the assumption e y t minus mu, okay, y t minus mu, this is equal to sigma squared. This is our constant variance assumption. But the assumption, it's also equal to gamma zero or the autocovariance at the initial time period. So at the initial, at the initial time period, the autocovariance is equal to the variance of the series itself. So we permit that, that value, okay, of the autocovariance is equal to the variance when t is equal to s. But when t is not equal to s, okay, in a white noise process, that gamma t minus s is just equal to zero. And that differs a bit from our assumptions. It sort of strength, strengthens that assumption earlier. So say you have two time periods, say five and then four, you'll get an autocovariance, a specific one in the other assumption, uh, in the other assumption that we had earlier with stationarity. So say this is, uh, say this is five, gamma five. And then you have here four and then three, this is gamma four, okay? When we have a white noise process, these two things are here, are zero, because it kind of assumes that there is no covariance or no association between one time period and another. Well, why is that? Because again, a white noise process is a series with no discernible structure. So you cannot infer some sort of association between one time period and another. It's purely stochastic. So that's a sort of what we assume about a white noise process. But in order to try and get how a white noise process is, what it is, well, we need to see how it looks like. So it looks something like this. So notice here we have a series. And uh, first, again, the properties that we need to hold. One is that it has constant mean. So if you try and draw a straight line, okay, the mean of that series will lie somewhere around zero, somewhere where that is. So there, that line there, that represents its mean. So that's its mean. So the mean of the series is constant, and that mean is zero. 
In fact, if the mean is zero, if mean is zero, we call that uh, uh, a zero mean white noise process. So it's a special type called a zero mean white noise process. Okay, then the second assumption is constant variance. So if you try to graph the variance, you'd see that it's also relatively um, fixed when we try to isolate that. And the third assumption, which we laid out earlier, so it just boils down to this, the series itself has no discernible structure. So it doesn't really have an association between one period and another period. So it's just undiscernible. It's just purely random almost or purely stochastic. So we can't really discern any sort of pattern, trend, seasonality from this process. And that's what a white noise process is generally uh, trying to show.